Oh, I know. New year, new me, really. What am I doing later? I think I'm gonna get back into my pajamas. All right, before I get into today's Dollar Tree haul, I just wanted to tell you guys something that I've been just thinking about this morning. I mean, I think about this all the time, but I just wanted to say this. I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching my videos. It's just so crazy to me when I see comments, and especially from my Dollar Tree hauls, when I see you're my favorite YouTubers, this is my favorite channel, these are my favorite videos, and I'm honestly blown away every time that is said to me. And I get to sit here and do something that makes me feel happy, relaxed, at peace. I get to share a passion and excitement that I have with people who share that same thing with me and I'm just so grateful for you. So I just wanted to tell you guys thank you so, so much. I know 10 out of 10 times I get on I get on, what am I even saying? I start filming myself and I know I'm just a clown show beginning to end and you guys just come along on this ride with me and I love you guys so much for that, for just being kind, the way you talk to each other, the way you answer questions for each other in the comment section. Like, I'm so lucky and I just wanted to thank you guys. So. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the haul. Actually, I want to show you guys probably my favorite thing in this haul, but it's actually a repeat item, even though you're going to be blown away by all, yet again, of the new stuff I find at this damn store. But I picked up these rubber maids. I've picked a couple up not too long ago, a couple months ago, and I've used them since. And I told myself the last time I used these, I was like, next time I go to Dollar Tree, I need to remember to pick up just a couple more and i cannot honestly recommend these enough they're so good they actually come in different sizes i decided to go with the round one but they do have like a rectangular shape and it's just one bowl and one lid that stores up to five cups of food it's a, and it's also labeled as a meal prep container so that's really awesome it's a take it says take alongs designed for salads, soups, and sides, BPA-free, which is my favorite thing that's honestly listed on this. But these are just amazing. I can't believe these are being sold at Dollar Tree. Like the quality is outstanding. I've washed them in my dishwasher. They hold up extremely well. I feel like it's pretty airtight too. And what, by, I don't know if I need to do a video of like the top of the top from Dollar Tree for me is like the most impressive item. But I have to say that if I did such a video and I did like a top 10, this one would probably be in the top three. I wouldn't even know where I would place this, but I have a hunch it might be like even number one. It's really one of the most impressive things I think is at Dollar Tree. So grabbed a couple more of those. And then I feel like grabbing at random. Let's do a sticker next. When I was at Dollar Tree, I looked at this and like my gut instinct was you already got this, but that's my gut instinct on most stickers. But I decided I'm gonna grab it again and then I realized a l when I pulled this haul, I was like, no, I definitely have gotten this. But I don't mind having another set. I just think it's so cute. And what really gets me about this little set is the rainbow. I just feel like that one would be really cute in a spread, like just a, a weekly spread in your planner. So if you don't have never watched planner videos a day in your life, I don't know. Next time you just kind of don't know what to do, just kind of Google that on YouTube and kind of see what comes up. I've done quite a few in my day. I know I've been asked to bring it back. As soon as my craft room is done, I will be bringing them back, but they're going to be over on my vlog channel. So you won't actually see any planning over here. You'll just see the hauls of the things for that here. So anyways, I thought that was a really cute little sticker set. And then, oh, another repeat item. I just like to refill on these. They're the dusters, the microfiber dusters. They have the little snap. Um, you have to be careful with these, the little snap, because they do break off. I'll say that the handle can be really cheap, so you gotta like gently snap it into place. But otherwise, I think by far, these are the best dusters for me. Um, I'm not a cleaning expert at all. Let's leave that to Vanessa. Um, 
but these have been my favorite to clean my blinds. I've even bought specific uh, dusters for blinds and I found that process to be tedious. I bought them off of Amazon. And you just to grab a thing and do you know what I'm talking about? It's like the little claws. And I was just like, I cannot with this. It just wasn't a thing. So I just basically, you know, flip the blinds one way, dust down, flip it the other way, dust down. And I find that that works pretty, pretty well. You could also even like maybe take a vacuum cleaner to it first and then do this process. And I feel like, I don't know, again, not a cleaning expert, but I can tell you these are pretty good. I don't think that they move the dust around um, you know, just doesn't just move it around. It like picks it up pretty well. So I just, yeah, I get these from Dollar Tree, obviously, and they're a dollar. Okay, next up, this item is really interesting and it is a magnetic pickup tool. I'm just like, what? You guys, let me tell you, if you're new to my channel, I'm a single mom. I've been a single mom. I've never been married. I shouldn't be putting that out there, but I've never been married. I've, I'm waiting on PETA, you, you know this. So, um, I have put together all kinds of things, furniture, barbecue grills, like the whole thing. And I have always bought a lot of my tools actually from Dollar Tree. And I even bought like a drill set from Amazon and I still reach for my tools that I get from Dollar Tree. I don't know. I just like them. They always work for me. So... I really like the tool bench line at Dollar Tree is where, where I'm getting at with this. Um, but this is a magnetic pickup tool. So I'm assuming that you could um, just pick up, you know, little nails and things. And this could actually come in handy. I can't tell you guys how many times I've had to like dig to kind of pick the nail up out of a spot. So yeah, that's a pretty cool, cool item for a dollar to snag up. So we've got that. All right, let me get into some garden stuff. I don't think this is new. I think I've purchased one of these before, but did they change it some way? I don't, I don't know. They've done, I can't remember. I'm sorry. You know about my, my um, memory, but I've, I definitely feel like this has been around for sure. But I wanted to show you guys how awesome this is. Just a hanging wire basket and you could definitely Instead of thinking about this from a floral perspective with real flowers outside, which you could definitely do, right? So this is amazing alone for that. But you could also look at this from a decorating perspective in the house too. And just do like a faux floral arrangement of something like maybe cascading down. And then you could put like flowers in there. That would be really pretty. Faux flowers, that is. Um, Dollar Tree has even sold like those uh, linings you know, that you would grow flowers in. So they've even sold those before. Uh, maybe they're at some of your, your stores, but yeah, I definitely, when I look at this, I think of how can I utilize this in my library? It's where my first thought goes. So I'm gonna give it some thought and, um, and just kind of see how I can build this into that design room. Because when I picked that up, I knew that I wanted it to be more of a decor than using it for real flowers. The next thing are these plant clips, which I've never, I've never before have seen these at Dollar Tree. That's not to say that they haven't been there before. I just haven't noticed them. And they're plant clips. So essentially from what I noticed online, you would clip this if you're trying to grow a vine of some sort with like multiple stems, or if you're trying to keep like, you know, a rod next to your tree so that the tree like doesn't like grow tilted or sideways or whatever, you would use these to kind of secure the, at certain point points of the base to kind of keep it, you know, it growing in a certain direction. And I want to show you guys how many you get in here and the two different sizes. That's pretty amazing. Like, what? I love this store. Like, what else am I supposed to say? Here's another garden item. So be on the lookout because now is when Dollar Tree is going to start, like, leaking in the spring collection. I even saw them recently post some spring stuff. So remember, Dollar Tree does things in advance, which I like because I like for things to be available longer than just, you know, four weeks. Like Valentine's Day, for example, they started, you know, basically January 1st. That's a month and a half, really, from a Valentine's Day perspective. 
And so with spring, they start early so that you have time to like, you know, see the things, pick up the things. This is a soaker hose. What? Now let's, let's talk about, you know, the fact that sometimes things at Dollar Tree, well, you pay for what you get sometimes. There are amazing things that are just straight up gems. Then there are things where you're like, okay, well, it was a dollar. This could be one of those things where you're like, well, it was a dollar. So obviously I've never tried this before. Let me show you guys the picture here. Looks like it rolls out kind of flat. And you can just see how that looks. So I don't think that this expands like round. I think it just kind of remains flat and then the water comes out. So I just want to show you guys, but even not from a garden perspective, this might be cute if you have kids and it could be like a little water thing they kind of run through. I don't know, okay? I've, I haven't yet to try this. Um, there is a cool little like seal indicating that, you know, it would stop water from like leaking out, but it's a soaker hose at the end of the day. This I think could also be good for foundation, uh, but you know, I'm not, I'm not a, don't take my word for it. Um, yeah, so, but it's new. I wanted to show you guys that I found it at Dollar Tree. Okay, next up are some new decor pieces and they're really cute and unique. So let's get going. Here's this one. You can see it has a shadow box look and wake up and smell the coffee. Oh, that's like that commercial. Um, oh, it's right at the tip of my tongue. Who's already seeing it? Folgers, the best part of waking up. Okay. You know, I'm sitting here looking at this and thinking, I don't even think this has anything to do with Folgers coffee. But listen, we're gonna skip over that, pretend it didn't happen. But I really like the image of the coffee. I think it's really nice. Wine a little, laugh a lot. This one is a good one. And I would definitely snag this for a lot of different reasons. Whether you just want it because you have like a little wine, you know, area of your house, because I love how chic and black, you know, that it is. Wine a little, laugh a lot. Really simple, but pretty. You've got the red wine, which I love that it's red wine. And, but another great reason to pick this up is just in case, you know, pull it aside, throw it in a closet, keep it around, because you never know if you're gonna do like a housewarming gift basket kind of thing, this would look cute. So if you have somebody moving into a new house, you could put this in the gift basket with a bottle of wine, a little kitchen cloth kind of thing, and it would just look really pretty, even like a bottle opener, some like bottle charms or whatever. And this is a cute little piece. I mean, like you wouldn't know that it was from the Dollar Tree, in my opinion. Then we have Welcome to Our Home. This is a gorgeous blue. I don't feel like Dollar Tree does enough of this shade with decor. They really don't, um, but very pretty. I love the birdhouse. And then love lives here. What a perfect time for this to show up, even though, again, I've been talking to you guys about labels and this doesn't have the Valentine's Day label. So, but if you want this for Valentine's Day, it's a cute one, it's a cute one to pick up. I love the burgundy. It's a very nice shade, <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right. Who remembers when I recently hauled? Did you see my eyes light up? I felt my eyes light up. I recently hauled several hats from Dollar Tree and then I found some more. Let me show you what I found. I've got to work on the bills because they're a little flat, but I want to show them at the same time so you can see the different shades of red, but absolutely gorgeous. And your look, okay? You know your girl is a fan of hats, but even more so, I'm a huge fan of the plain ones too because I feel like I dress in a lot of just like basic colors. I don't really throw patterns in too often. So these hats just really go along very well with my style and aesthetic and, and all of those things. This red hat is absolutely gorgeous, stunning, bright. And then we do have the adjustable. Now I've been wearing the ones that I've hauled and they're just, they're so good. They're just like, they're just like, other hats like there's just nothing there's not I don't for me there's not a quality difference to be honest they're not dry fit so there, there is a difference in material right dry fits are the kind that I would wear when I'm working out or jogging because if you sweat it's a different type of material if you sweat on hats like these it could tend to stain them etc but this hat is beautiful it has that red jean 
look to it. I feel like there's a name for this style. Is it like a heathered red? Is that how you would? Heathered? I don't know. Let me know. But I wanted to show you guys that this is different. It's a Velcro, which I like all kinds of uh, backings, as long as there is an adjustable quality to them. But I feel like the Velcro is probably the nicest for me because it's just easier to snap on and off. And the Velcro seems very strong just from what I can see. It doesn't look like it's weak, like it would just fly off. Um, but I found these hats for a dollar. And like, I can't even... I don't even know what to say. I mean, obviously, I just said a bunch of stuff about it, but, you know. All right, next up is a ruler, and it's new. I've never seen this ruler before, and it's super cute. Uh, I wanted to show you guys. Hopefully, you can see it, but it has the little confetti sprinkles or whatever you would call it on there. Dollar Tree rarely kind of updates items like this, so... They finally threw in a brand new ruler and I think it's really cute. So another gift basket idea for teachers and things like that. I just think that it's a very pretty ruler and it's a dollar. What else am I supposed to say? Okay, where else do we go from here? All right, I got another wax melt, but this one's definitely brand new. It is called Iced Lemon Biscotti. And let me tell you, I smelled this in the store and I about swooned because it smells so good. It really does. So next time you're in Dollar Tree, consider smelling this one, but it really does smell like iced lemon. I don't know if I'm like getting biscotti necessarily. Biscotti doesn't have on its own like an overly strong scent anyway, in my opinion, but you, you were definitely getting iced lemon. Um, and it's just, I don't even know how they translate iced into that but it, i definitely smell it and it smells exactly like the iced lemon pound cake loaf thing at starbucks um, because those are like my favorite little bread things to get at starbucks but so good again when i talk about wax melts i feel like i need to say that if you're not into wax melts or you're starting to get into them there is a difference in quality so i'm gonna put that out there so Keep that in mind. So if you maybe end up getting headaches, it could be from the wax melt itself and you may need to switch them out and maybe go for a little bit more expensive ones that have like a soy or some type of blend. Um, but I just want to throw that out there that I don't imagine that Dollar Tree wax melts are like top of the line because you get what you pay for, you know? So there's that. Um, then I found a candle snuffer, but these aren't new. I definitely have purchased one in the past and but I saw them again and I thought these are just too good not and I don't even know where my other one is to be honest and this was before I moved into this house so it probably could have ended up part of like a donation process but great for safe safely extinguishing candles with no mess so just to show you guys yeah you just snuff out the flame basically did I say that right why did that sound weird? But isn't that cool? Isn't that a beautiful little copper color? Absolutely gorgeous. You can see there's really nothing in there. He just kind of goes in and it just, I guess, suffocates the flame. So that, and I wanted to get that because I instantly thought of my library. I want to have like candles and stuff. So I think that would be like a really cool, I don't know if vintage is the right word, but a really cool little item to have in there. This is also brand new from Crafters Square, and this is a monogram cross stitch kit. What? Look at that. A dollar, and you only get one, but however, if you wanna do like maybe a banner of a name or a word or something, you could turn these into a banner. Like how cute would that be? But I don't know honestly very much about cross stitching anyway. So comment down below, let me know your thoughts if you're really into it, if you think that this is a great cute little item for a dollar or yeah just give us your expertise down below and it shows you the letters that you could possibly get so you can see that not all 26 um, are available uh, I don't know if they are um, but just according to this packaging there's 12 1 2 3 4 5 so yeah 12 options so anyways there we go so that's pretty awesome but it gives you the whole kit and then it gives you like the patterns and stuff on here. You can see that. And then it gives you the instructions on how to do this. I think there's even the little pick 
yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that little pink thing down here at the bottom. So essentially you should have everything you need to complete your cross stitch from here because you get one plastic design base, one plastic needle, one instruction sheet, and three threads. It's a kit. So th that's brand new. All right. The next items, um, again, is just kind of a friendly reminder that I like to do a mix of things when I show you guys products from Dollar Tree. I want you guys to see my favorite finds. Um, and sometimes there are finds that while I love them and I want you guys to see them, I don't necessarily have a use for them, but I want you to know, you know, that they're out there. It's like I'm trying to be an informant, but I'm not trying to show you guys everything either. I'm showing you again my favorite things that if I had, if I did have a use for them, I would definitely put them to use. So this is one of those examples and you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about because girl, we both know, we both know this is not occurring in my life, but we've got the bride flip-flops and bridesmaid flip-flops. What? And honestly, very well done. Beautiful. They, they made it very trendy, very gorgeous. Uh, you've got the white bride flip-flop with the gold lettering. Are you kidding me? This is in a medium size 7-8. They did have multiple sizes to choose from. And then we've got the bridesmaids collection in the pink with the gold. You know, I don't know very much about what's going on with weddings these days, but I've seen enough to know that this is like pretty trendy. Obviously white bride and then pinks are bridesmaids. But anyways, I just... I, I saw them, my eyes bugged out of my head. I couldn't believe it. Okay, and the very last thing is actually a bonus item. Um, so it was $5 and, you know, we've been friends long enough for you guys to know that um, I don't like talking about the bonus section at Dollar Tree because Dollar Tree's slogan is literally everything's a dollar, keyword, everything clearly not I, I i honestly don't know how we can't get me started we, we cannot get me started so um so this was not a dollar this was five dollars but i found the clue game it is a grab and go and you know that I would not pick up a bonus item if I didn't think that it was just here. Um, when I see bonus things, I ask myself, would I pay $5 for it at other stores like Walmart, Big Lots, Five Below, stuff like that? And if the answer is yes, if I would pay $5 at those stores, I then do pick it up from Dollar Tree. So I guess that's how I justify that betrayal in my mind. Um, but anyways, I found a Clue game. And the thing for me is my daughter and I love Clue. We're obsessed with Clue. The movie, the games, I try to collect every Clue type of board game possible. We have Harry Potter Clue. We've got the classic Clue. We've got Clue where there you can watch a movie or DVD thing with it. Like I've literally have searched for every kind of Clue game there is. So I'm basically just going to add this to the collection. And this is a, you know... Yeah, Hasbro, that's the the game maker. I mean, this is a big name brand that's being sold at Dollar Tree for five bucks. It's just a little grab and go clue. I think this is really cute. I like this concept because I automatically think this is easy to take on vacation. You know, if you're like doing like a, a cross country or drive or a road, road trip is what I was going for. If you're going on like a road trip, nice, compact, you know, there you go. So very excited about that game but that's it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I want to thank you guys again so much for watching all of my videos, for always commenting the sweetest things. It means so much to me. So thank you so, so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another Dollar Tree haul.